So as you'll notice, I've got some videos up here that you can click on. And the important thing is that this part right here with the pivot tables is something we've covered and I've made some videos on. So go ahead and review those videos and take some time to kind of make sure you know the techniques and what can be done, how we read pivot tables into Excel, being able to recognize unusual information being displayed in pivot tables and or charts. That just mainly goes with being able to read one and see if you can understand um, like what is going on, how the information is being presented being able to make recommendations to make presented information better. This goes with a lot of things we can add to a pivot chart. What can we do to make a pivot chart better? What elements are there and what changes could be made? Be familiar with data sets used in class. So these are the data sets we've been using, the stat tool one older data set we have that we have the file up for. And I don't think it hurts to go in and just make a pivot table and try to interpret it, make a pivot table and try to make it correctly. What we're mainly trying to teach you in this section is how to make good pivot tables because people in industry use them. So if you come out of this class knowing how to make a good pivot table and can do it for someone and someone says, oh, do you know how to make a pivot table? You say, oh yeah, yeah, that's easy. I can do it right away for you. I can get it done in five minutes. They say, what? And um, that would make us look very good. So we like it when we pass on the knowledge to you. And this is a shorter chapter once again, but I would review the videos that you're seeing right now to kind of make sure you have the material down and know what can be done with a pivot table, how to make a pivot table, and basically how to read a pivot table. Good luck. Email me if you have questions.